Hi, this is David with entry number 378 coming at you here in Kangning City at 12.15 p.m. Again, this is a before school entry like I did yesterday. And I thought I'd record a quick maybe three or four minute entry today uh, just to, to bring up something that I just kind of pondered as I was getting ready this morning. And that, w that would be uh, the concept of, of, um, of racism, I think. And you know, how is it, how is it that we are so um, innate, innately registered to perceive differences? And, um, you know, I was, I was born and raised in California. And uh, as a Californian, or at least a, at least a liberal Californian, you're kind of uh, raised or, or uh, taught to have a knee-jerk reaction to racism, uh, the word, and that would be uh, that it's bad, and that it's not okay, and that it's a very negative thing. And I think um, in the in the more westernized uh, perspective, uh, in the cultural zeitgeist. Uh, we are talking about something that is very negative and very malicious and evil when we talk about racism. And uh, it's uh, two kissing cousins would be uh, prejudice and discrimination. And um, we're talking about, you know, hating or disliking something simply because it's different. And I think there's a lot of validity in saying that that is a negative quality to have. Um, but, but why? is it that we are so quick to judge and so quick to to see differences and I think the obvious answer would be because we're programmed to it's deep uh, genetic coding that has allowed us to survive as a human species uh, something in the past uh, supported this this behavior to reject things that are different or people who are different um, as, as you might, may know, and probably know, humans are a community-based uh, organism. You know, we like to be in groups of each other. And as it turns out, we like to be, we prefer to be in groups of each other that look the same. Um, and I'm, I'm talking about more uh, when we were base humans, you know, like when we were still living subsistence style. Um, if a foreigner came into your group, there was a chance that foreigner would cause your group harm in some way or another. And by rejecting that foreigner, you kept your group whole. Therefore, you kept yourself whole and your children whole. And I think that's a thing deep down in all of us that really still remembers that, that, that drive, that instinctual survival mechanism that keeps our group whole. Now today, this way of thinking is primitive, obviously, and not really that beneficial because as we've learned through gen genetic testing and all this, having diversity, biodiversity, is actually a very good thing for, for species, and um, especially the human species. So I would say that um, there, is, there is a valid statement to racism and all this, um, but you have to look at it through a historical perspective and not through through anything that's really relevant today. We are racist, but we have racist tendencies because it benefited us at one time. That time is not now. Now is a time for more acceptance and a general um, time of happiness, I would say. Uh, it doesn't really make sense to shun anyone now because they're different in most regards. You know, I can think of a few a few scenarios where you would want to take someone out of a group because they are different, but they're, that's mostly because they're dangerous or uh, threatening in a very real and tangible manner. So, uh, yeah. So why are we racist? It's because it's at some point in time it benefited the human species. But, um, but you just have to realize it's you know, it is a struggle at times to realize that just because someone's different doesn't make them bad or weird or strange. It just makes them different. It just is something that is, and that's all. And um, it's just something that I feel everyone should always recognize and appreciate.
but just because you recognize and appreciate something doesn't always necessarily mean you have to live your life that way or in that way or in that style. So that's all. Thanks for watching. Three, this has been a tree 378. I will speak with you tomorrow. Bye.